So this is exciting. We've got a delivery that's just been made of some Australian wax flowers that we're going to put in. So you'll see on this one actually it's still got some of the little pink flowers there. So these are the varieties we've got. So we've got one called Dee's Delight which is sort of like a crimson and pink with sort of white leaves. Another one which is my Sweet 16 and that's got a mixture of pinks and whites uh, in the same plant. Morning Delight which is a predominantly white wax flower. Chantilly Lace which is very popular that florists use. And this pink one we're going to try, Karen brilliant pink flower. So we've got these to put in. There's about 48 wax flowers there so that'll be a, a job to get those rows ready and we'll put those in. <laughs> Okay, today what the exercise is, is to get this ground ready to put our Australian wax flowers in. The lavender rows are over there in the distance. We've got four rows here that have been tilled behind the tractor. Uh, there's, in addition to the um, just the soil, I've mixed in some soil wetter and, and some lime into the soil just to bring the pH up a little bit. Uh, the wax flowers ideally um, from what I read um, should be about uh, seven or so. So that's what we're aiming for. So I'm just going to get this ready to put in. Um, but there's a one other additive that I want to put in the mix as well. So I'm going to add some of this to the rose. It's dynamic lifter. It's an organic soil improver and plant fertilizer it's only quite mild um, i don't want to improve the soil and put too many good things in the soil because the wax flowers tend to like a poorish type of soil if that makes sense so the soil itself is um, quite good structure it's a bit better than where we put the lavender in it's got uh, more sand in it so i'm quite sure the soil will be okay. Um, I'm just going to add in some dynamic lifter. Let's see what the directions are for how much we put on. That's the specs for dynamic lifter. So it's not um, a great fertilizer by any means. So you'll see that the three NPK ingredients that we've got here, it's nitrogen is 3.7 
phosphorus is 2 and potassium is 1.8 so it's not as, of, uh, as aggressive as a lot of the fertilizers um, this is ideally suited to Australian natives um, and I think if we put about 150 grams per square meter into the rows that it should be the ideal mix um, I've got four half rows so these rows are actually 20 meters long um, I haven't got enough plants for 20 meters so it'll be about 12 meters uh, in each row and we've got 48 plants so we'll do four rows <laughs> Okay, so I've tilled the row and I've just got to make sure as I go through it I get bits of the old grass that was here. It's been treated and it's dying or dead. There will be some regrowth that'll come through, but I'll just try and pull as much out as I can as I go. And that'll make it a bit easier later on to sort of control what's going to grow back. Right, Lehman Pearl in the first row, 12 to put in. Oh, those are it, looks good, doesn't it? Mm. I'm sure we'll have a nice life in there. First one, first wax flower. Hooray. Hooray.
wonder if the soil's going to be too powdery. No, it should be alright. It's probably better than having rock hard soil, I suppose. It grows in fairly sandy soils in WA, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I've got some of this blue metal and gravel. It's uh, size wise supposed to be between 10 and 14 mil or half an inch. And I'm just going to put this on around the base of the plants just to give some extra drainage to the top so they're not sort of sitting in a pool of water every time they get watered. So let's get these on. Okay, I'm just going to give them a drink with some of this sea salt solution. We have got in the practice now of buying them in these big 10 litre containers that seem to get a bit of value for money. So just measure out just a little bit in this. If I can do this one handed, just a bit. Oh, man. That'll do. So there's about that much in the bottom. Not much. About a cup full. Get some water. 